As I said, you know, instead of saying very often that it works in theory but it doesn't work in practice, we should be much rather saying it works in practice but it doesn't work in theory. I mean, the society works somehow. Uh, electrons and quarks and neutrinos work somehow but we don't in practice but we don't know the theory behind it this is something that we are discovering this poses other questions as well where are these r laws where are the laws of fractals you know fractals appear in, in, no matter how far or how I know, near I know you what a yeah. fractal. so i i believe that the human psyche is also structured in fractals and it extends to society so what you see in the society is a reflection of what's happening inside in a fractal way yeah it's, it's one, one, you have, one thing. You have policemen, you have artists, you have you have yeah, nice person. I that, perfectly know. understand the idea. I loved it for a long time, but uh, um, t today physics, for example, they come to the conclusion that it's not true that the laws on the, in the bigger spaces are the same laws perfect, all the time perfect, in the small exactly, spaces. Exactly. So the fractal idea is one idea, but there are also differences. Yes, yes. And we have to to deal with both principles. Yes, absolutely. This I find interesting about logic, now that you touched on it, Yeah. which is a system. Yeah. Logic is a system of guarding your yeah. way of thinking. My question, of course, is wh why is logic logical? And now that you called, let's, let's just sum it up on three basic quantum space, mm -hmm. which is completely different logic than, let's say, Newton space, right, right. which is completely different logic from the yeah. um, grand theory of, yeah. of, 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 of relativity. Yeah. And you need to, and from the perspective of these levels, yeah. the logic of the other dimension, or oh, well, it's the same dimension in a way, it's happening all the time. We even see it yes. in a way, but we don't see it. Yeah. Um, uh, seems absolutely contra logic. Mm -hmm. You need to study that logic for a long time in order to be meddling mm -hmm. with. Um, with, with these energies, mm -hmm. let's say, on these, on these different levels. But what I wanted to say is in this, in the, that's a very good point, um, in, this, in this idea of um, it promises to make you see, but in fact it makes you blind. So what fetishes very often do, I think, is that they promise, I call it C and O, so C is an incomplete person, yeah. I lack and there is a vacuum, my thesis is that vacuum is never really empty. It is filled with, uh, with exactly this fetish component. And what it promises to give you a whole complete you, in other words, an O-shaped, yeah. in fact blocks it, keeps yeah. it. So the magnet isn't this way, but the magnet is going, going, going the other way. So to bring it down to ground, a nice example of this is exactly our mathematical met mo method in economics. Mm -hmm. Specifically, let's focus on predictions. Macroeconomic, very common thing, mm -hmm. macroeconomic prediction. So, what macroeconomic predictions do is they give you the impression that you will see, mm -hmm. in this case, into the future. Yeah, so the future is uncertain, it's dark, we do not see it, perhaps we even fear it. But thanks to these models, you can see that GDP of right. Germany will be this mm. and that. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so they give you the impression that you see, but in fact they make you blind. Mm -hmm. Because exactly they do this to, right. to a manager. Mm -hmm. uh, he or she will, if she believes these statistics too much, she will be blind to the other signals that maybe the artists are giving. Yeah. Because the, the, there is a basic irony uh, laying in the core of economics um, and even psychology and other fields as well is that we do not understand what's happening. In the society we are only discovering with very dubious results um, the, uh, the, the behavior of economy. We don't know how it works. We don't know yeah. how it works. Yet, we produce very exact models, <laughs> which, which give you the GDP of, 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 of next yeah. year. A, a huge irony. And, of course, I mean, I have nothing against economics, on the contrary, I love it. This is why I am an economist. But, um, if psychology would come up with... So, the problem with economics is, is exactly this too much of preciseness. 
it's a very young science. You know, economics yeah. is, is so young. I, I agree. Uh, it's like maybe it's like it's like um, uh, uh, medicine in the year zero. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to go back to these levels. We have it now on a very general level. Uh, um, as you said, uh, quantum physics, neutron physics, and all this. I what we. It's important uh, as a psychologist. It was a fashion to say everything is a fractal, and what is oh, inside okay. is also outside. And we can oh. use the same concepts for so everything. So I discovered the wheel for everything, <laughs> and and this is uh, an interesting uh, viewpoint because you develop concepts that are also useful to look at yourself. You look at the team, look at the company, look at society. So that it's not spread into all kind of models that you cannot. Uh, put together again, but um, in, in the last years, I, I'm more thinking that on the macroeconomic level, you may really need a different thinking than of a, a company level, and this is also different than thinking on the individual psyche level. Uh, also, there are parallels. There are also Difference. differences. Mm. And uh, we have to learn how we can uh, control ourselves in acting on these different levels in a different way. So we have to learn to have to adopt different systems of looking at things and different systems of organization, organizing ourselves and communicate to others in what systems are we now. And that's a very intellectual, intellectually challenging uh, way and how do you think about so it? So a good idea, a good, good, good way to, to reconnect that back to economics yeah. is that the logic of um, working space is different from logic of charity space. The example of this blood giving. Mm -hmm. There is a logic at hand mm -hmm. which is disturbed when you put it into right. the other. So That's when you take it from Newton, yeah. you put it into quantum, it doesn't work. You take it from charity, you put it into... So my, even my little bit more radical thesis is that what we have described in economics up to now is micro and macro is just the middle of it. That below microeconomics there is something that I call nanoeconomics. Yeah. And that's between two people, yeah. between father and son, yeah. between lovers, between friends. Yeah. There the rules of behavior and conduct are completely different. There we try to pretend that we're not interested in money. Mm -hmm. So a good example of this is when you go to a pub uh, with your friends, if human beings would be homo economicus all the way, even here at the nanosphere, yeah. then they would be quarreling, I would say, no, you pay, because I paid last time. Uh, and you would say, no, 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 but, but we, in fact, we do the other, exactly the other way around. Yeah. No, no, I pay. And you will say, no, you paid last time, let me pay. I said, no, 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 this is ridiculous, let me, please. And you say, no, and if I invite you, very often people don't even say thank you, they, they, I know, of course, this is all staged, but they pretend that they're insulted. If you give somebody too big a gift, or if I invite you for, for beer and I really insist that I'll pay, you will say, no, but, you know, now I'm really angry at you, you sh really shouldn't have done yeah. this. This is, this, is, I, this is ridiculous. I, I always ask people, what's to say, allow me to invite them. Yes. yes. I never, I never, Press them yeah, to do that. But the common thing is to really be exactly <laughs> contra yeah, yeah. egoist. And for what is that an example? This is an example of when you take one sphere, which is friendship, yeah. and you put it into uh, okay. money. Yeah. So, so then we're in confusion. The, of the, the, yes, the uh, problem is uh, that uh, suddenly, so my thesis is that in between friends, yeah. we try to pretend as if money doesn't exist. Yeah. yeah. So when I watch your, I don't know, I watch your child, for example, as your student, so you either say thank you, or you give me a bottle of wine or something, mm -hmm. you invite me for dinner, but you never give me 13 euros 50 cents, Certainly. because it would be insulting yeah. for me, uh, or for anybody. Because you would have now, you would have changed the level of friendship where we do each other favors, mm -hmm. and of course we exchange things, but never exactly, mm -hmm. so this is my yeah. critique of exactness. So I give you a bottle of wine, you yeah. bring me something, I, you know, mm -hmm. we don't, that's why we, I think, this is why we take the, the, mm -hmm. the price tax 
from gifts. Yeah, of course, I when you give me a bottle of whiskey. I yeah. Yeah. So, so this is exactly um, an example where With a different quantum, logics. different logics meet. Yeah, and you can switch this very quickly. In our yeah. brain, uh, it, it switches. In Somehow we we know about these things intuitively. Nobody teaches us, right? But we know this. But yeah, I have a challenging uh, question to you. Uh, I hear you. You are e excellent in telling examples that help us um, to undermine our mechanical thinking things, and you do this wonderfully. The question is. How far are we to develop a model that can uh, somehow tell us what are these different levels? How can we describe them? And in, in life, they, have to, they, they work together. In life, we cannot not keep them separate. What can we do on a, on a methodological level yeah. not to, keep, to, to separate them because they are different and still Keep, keep it together because we have to teach them to people who have act in a universe that this cannot be separate. So, okay, of course, I will also answer you with a story. <laughs> oh, I've, I've studied with Milton Erickson. Okay. So I'm used to that. This wonderful, leads me wonderful. to another story. <laughs> when, I, when I came up with my analytical question, he always answers, this leads me to another story. Totally perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, Two ways how to answer this. One, if you look on, and now I don't want to compare myself with Jesus, but Jesus' method always, also he tells stories Certainly. that are, it's not a system. Yeah. You know, Paul then later tries to put it into some system. We don't have a system till today. Even we, though we have systematic no, theology. No, we will never have. We will never have a system. So um, it's stories. Um, uh, but st that we don't have a system doesn't mean we should not have a didactic model. Yes. To yes. learn. Yeah.